All right, everybody, good morning. We're going to go ahead and get started. I want to thank everyone for being here this morning. It's an exciting day. I'm Jeff Sutton, Assistant AD here at HCU. And I know nobody's here to listen to me, so I'm just going to get right to it. Go ahead and bring up our athletic director, Steve Maniachi. Well, first off, let me start by thanking everybody for uh, attending today's um, ceremony here. Uh, obviously, didn't expect to be in front of all of you again so soon. Um, we did this just 13 months ago. We went through the same process and didn't really think we would be doing it again all over again now. But here we are. And um, the one good thing about that is the fact that we were able to crank up our search process very, very quickly. Uh, when we found out that Coach Harris was leaving for Campbell, we were Im immediately able to start assessing where we wanted to go and what we wanted to do. And I think it's important to note that this isn't, and, and this, it, it wouldn't be fair to Coach Bactel if I didn't tell you this, that we didn't just, quote, settle on our offensive coordinator as our next head coach. We did a thorough search. We had candidates on campus and digitally that we interviewed in addition to Coach Bactel. But it didn't take us very long to figure out that we had the right guy in the building. Let me give you a couple reasons why we ended up where we ended up. First of all, he has collegiate head coaching experience. He has been a successful head coach at the collegiate level and at the high school level here in Texas. And as we all know, being successful at the high school level here in Texas means a whole lot. He comes from a long coaching family. He's had experience doing exactly what he's going to do now, which is following Coach Harris and being successful when he followed Coach Harris. He obviously was a huge part of why we were successful on the field this year, and he was a huge part of why we were able to secure the number one recruiting class in FCS football this past fall. So it, it didn't take us very long to settle, on, and settle's not a good word. It didn't, oh, excuse me. I hope I didn't knock somebody off the air here. Um, but it didn't take us very long to figure out where we wanted to go with this search. Um, so at this time, I'm going to bring up Dr. Robert Sloan, our president. Uh, he's got a couple things he wants to say, and, and then we'll get uh, Coach Bactel up here. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Steve, and thanks to all of you for being here. I, I do have a couple of things I want to say. I'll, I'm, I'll try not to be uh, too long about it, but I want to say some things about uh, HCU athletics and football in particular, of course, and then, of course, obviously, uh, Coach Bachtel and, and the program. But we, we started not only Division I athletics itself uh, a number of years ago, but particularly football a few years after that, so that we could enrich, enhance, and further the values and goals of the university. Uh, we believe that our visibility, we believe that, uh, that our, our uh, status as a university is enhanced through successful athletics, particularly, of course, in the state of Texas and in this part of the world through football. And so we, we have, uh, we've worked very hard to have a program of success, a program that does all the things I've already suggested about our values and goals and visibility. We have uh, spent a lot of years building the infrastructure for a, for a successful program. Uh, we, we have facilities, we have coaches. Uh, Twelve years ago, we didn't own a football uh, on this campus. And today, uh, here, as we stand here, we've competed for a number of years now at the Division I level. But all this time, we've been pushing for a successful program. Uh, this past year was, very, was an important step because it established we were five and five on the field. It had established a platform uh, for a winning, uh, the platform for a program by having a winning, well, an asterisk winning season. Uh, and uh, it, it's true, it's just the reality. We were, we were five and five on the field. We picked up another game by forfeit. And so you can argue as to whether it's a winning season or not. Uh, uh, Coach Bachtel told me, he said, no, it's five and five and it's, it's an asterisk winning season. I accept that because that's the kind of attitude you, you want in somebody who wants to succeed. But this, this, I think, is a pivot point for us. 
because we've had now a, a foundational season to build off of after we've had 10 years of, of foundational infrastructure building. But now we want to take the next step towards a winning program. To have a winning program, you have to have consistency. You have to have uh, loyalty. And one of the first things that I noticed as I began to talk with Coach Bachtel was not only is he, um, I, I knew already that he was outstanding in terms of X's and O's. He was a rich part, as Steve has already said, of our success in terms of this past year offensively. Uh, he has all those attributes and experiences that Steve has mentioned already. Uh, but I noticed that he has a deep commitment to the university. In order to have, in order to have a successful program, you have to have consistency and continuity. And continuity is grounded among, in, among other things, loyalty. And so, Coach Bachtel, thank you, and, and all the coaches and student athletes who, in a surprising time for us, a challenging time, nonetheless demonstrated an enormous loyalty to the university, to your fellow coaches, uh, and, and to the student athletes, and, and really to our alumni and all those who are friends of the university. This is a huge and important pivot point. And so, uh, Coach Bachtel, I thank you. Thank you for, for what you've done already. Thank you for being a part of the university. Thank you for taking on this challenge because we're going to achieve under your leadership a, a successful winning program. And we're with all the values for HCU that go with that. So uh, my, my commission to you is we, because of your loyalty and your commitment, we, we entrust ourselves to you and we pledge to you our commitment uh, and to your coaches and to your players as a university. God bless you. Thank you for coming to HCU. Well, it's always a great day to be a Husky. Um, and, and I say that in regards to 13 months ago, um, I took a leap of faith to, to follow um, Coach Harris here um, and to embark on a journey that obviously was cut a lot shorter than we all envisioned. But if it wasn't for the vision set in place by Dr. Sloan, Steve Maniachi, and you guys, we wouldn't be here today, and I wouldn't be here today. So thank you, too, um, for your vision and your leadership on this campus. I can tell you in the last 120 hours um, with their leadership, we have gotten a lot accomplished, and there's still a lot more to be accomplished. But because of those two, we have already fully hired a football staff in that short amount of time because of how fast and expedient they want to move and continue the process of growth. So thank you. Um, you know, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for my parents. Um, I think because of their leadership in our house, um, always being in a Christian home, showing what marriage is all about, um, they set an example for myself and my wife um, and what, what that's supposed to look like. But also from a coaching standpoint, um, my father was a, a high school football coach, um, and proud of, of him and all his accomplishment, but he showed us what coaching was about as well and how to mold men um, into being great husbands and fathers, and that's what we will continue to do here at HCU. Um, to my beautiful bride of 23 years, Tara, um, the rock. Um, because of her, I would have never have taken the leap of faith. Um, I left a great place at Howard Payne with great friends and a great administration, but because she knew the dream that I had so many years ago, even before we were married, she pushed me and urged me to take that leap. And here we are 13 months ago being a Division Three head football coach to a Division One job. It's because of her and what she saw in me as a man to make me better that that's why I'm here today. Um, to our kids, Talon, um, Bailey, Brooklyn, and Blair. Man, y'all have been thrust in this life. And it's taken us all over the state of Texas. And you've, you've battled the journey. And, I, and I, can't, I can't tell you how much 
that means to me. Um, great friends, great leaders who have, who have mentored me. I've, <laughs> I've got a, a 3 a.m. call buddy in here right now that if, if ever we're awake, we can call each other. Um, my former boss at Howard Payne, Hunter Sims, is one of my dearest friends in, of all time. Um, Hunter, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your friendship. Um, and thank you to, for everything that you guys mean to our family. Um, I can't go on and, and not thank Braxton Harris for, for bringing me here today. Um, obviously, 13 months ago, we, we all wanted to be here longer than, than this time. But if it wasn't for Braxton and his leadership, our foundation would not be established. So thank you, Braxton, for that. I knew from a very young age that I wanted to be a coach. I had great mentors. I had great leadership in the house. I had an uncle who was a great high school coach. Um, and I had mentors who had mentored me through my college career that I knew I wanted to be just like those guys. I'm proud to call myself a Texas high school football coach. But I'm also proud to call myself a Husky today. The things that we were taught at a young age is what we will continue to strive to be here at HCU. We will strive for excellence in everything. We will strive for excellence in the classroom, on the field, and in the community. We have a great platform sitting right here in front of us to mentor men into being great husbands and fathers, and who knows, maybe the future president of the United States. And we don't take that task lightly, because what we do today is what shapes the future of our country. Um, you know, again, I said this 13 months ago, I did not see myself being here in this sp position right now. But I'm proud to be here. I found out just a few minutes ago, I asked Dr. Sloan, I said, what number president are you in, in the university history? And he said, three. And I said, well, that's a great number because I'm the third head coach in, in HCU history. And I said, well, how long have you been here? He said, 18 years. I said, I'll take an 18-year contract right now. And he said, coach, don't put that napkin in front of me. I'll sign it right now. <laughs> this is a dream come true. Um, this is not a stepping stone. And I say those words knowing that those two men, after this past 13 months, will hold me to that. Our guys in the locker room hear those words. Hold me to that. We got some of you here today. And I expressed that same thing to those guys yesterday in a team meeting. I'm committed to the foundation that was laid, and now it's time to build the walls. And the walls are going to be built, built on commitment, toughness. Those two things right there, guys, We'll start everything. <laughs> Toughness. We want to be the toughest football team on the field, both mentally and physically. We will take this place to a different level just based on those two things. Commitment. I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to expound on that. We will be the most disciplined, but you will find the most unified locker room in the nation right here on our campus. I'm proud to be a Husky. It's a great day to be a Husky. And in the words of Jim Harbaugh, who's got it better than us? Nobody. Dogs up. Good. All right, everybody, just want to say thank you one more time to everyone here in the building, everyone watching. Uh, Coach Bechtel, President Sloan, and Steve Maniachi will all be available media for individual interviews. Uh, again, thank you all for being here. Dogs up. I'll put the hat on. I think 13 months ago, Braxton said that he's going to mess up his hair. I don't have that issue. <laughs>